Hey guys! Today we will continue our World of Warships video series with looking at another member of the American cruiser family, the USS Chester. Although being a tier 2 in the game, the Chester was in fact the first light cruiser built for the US Navy, and it did serve in real life well before the tier 1 Erie. It was launched back in 1907, while commissioned in 1908, and it did continue to serve through the First World War as well, while finally being decommissioned in 1921. It did see rear action too, when in 1914 it did take part in the US occupation of Veracruz, and later during the war when it was eventually transferred to the European scene to escort convoys between Gibraltar and Plymouth. It was during this time in 1918 that the Chester performed some serious badassery, as upon spotting a German U-boat it did simply ram him to stop it from diving under, causing some damage to itself as well during the process. Unfortunately, the U-boat did eventually get under water and, despite depth charges being thrown after him, the fate of it remains unknown as no further contact was made from there on. The Chester in-game stays true to its potential and it continues to be a pretty cool ship. Despite its lower tier, you will start to feel more powerful and you can also cause a ton of damage to your enemies when driving it carefully. When fully upgraded, this ship will spew death from six 102mm guns that will still fire every 8 seconds just as in the previous tier. And also, you can this time engage the enemy as from 9.3km away. Finally, you also have a secondary armament consisting of, in total, six 76mm guns, so you have some extra firepower to help you out if you get within 2.5km of the enemy, though probably you are better off engaging from a bit further away. Talking about engaging the enemy optimally, while your main guns have a 180 degree turning speed of 22.5 seconds, this really only applies for two of the guns right in the front and in the rear of your ship, as the other main guns are side mounted anyways. So this means that you will have at least something you can fire a bit until all the guns are in position, even if you had to maneuver a lot. Now of course this also means that you will only be able to fire four of your main guns at a time at most. Regarding your accuracy, it's 91 meters, which might sound a lot, but actually it's alright, especially as it's even lower than what you had a tier earlier. Just expect to spray a little over larger distances. Regarding AA guns, well, let's just say that the Chester is not feared by planes much, as its AA armament consists of exactly one, <laughs> that's right, that's one, 76mm gun. Oh well, these tiers you will get away with it anyway. There is something else that the Chester doesn't have much of, and that's armor. It has up to 19mm at best, so if you get into a game with higher tier ships and or battleships, make sure they don't focus their fire on you directly. Otherwise, you have a quite reasonable health pool of 18,400, which is alright for its tier. Regarding maneuverability, you are still quite slow with a top speed of 26 knots only, but at least you can still turn quite sharply. And if you don't believe it, Try turning a battleship or carrier first. Concealment is rather similar to its predecessor as well with 8.5 km from other ships, but planes will be able to spot you this time much earlier, already from 5 km away. As for upgrades, you can and should upgrade the hull itself, giving you additional guns and health, and definitely upgrade your main batteries to the 152mm guns as well. I would suggest going for the upgrade on the gun firing control too, as it will give you a nice 10% boost on your maximal firing range. Also here it will take only one or two games to fully upgrade it, so in my opinion it's very much worth it. But that's enough of the numbers, let's see how they translate into gameplay out on open water. Two battle stations. Alright, so here we go in the Chester, and <laughs> look at that lineup. Oh my god. So... If you didn't catch a glimpse of that, we are pretty much in a tier 5 battle, and we will be mostly up against tier 4 battleships on the enemy team. So, what actually happened here is that, um, well, I played the Chester before, I had a lot of fun with it, and right now I'm just only rebooted for to make this video. And as during the time of the recording, it was early afternoon, and as the player pool is so limited at the moment, I thought, why not jump into a uh, cooperative game, which is pretty much your training ground, where real players are on your team, but every single enemy is a bot, and hopefully we can get into some juicy action there. So, that's what I got. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, 
if you remember what we said in the review, we don't have any armor whatsoever. And what tier 4 and 5 battleships have is lots of it, up to about 230-ish millimeters, I think. So I won't load any AP shells, um, that's, that's for sure. We could try, we could score a few penetrations here and there probably, but my plan is to fire HE all the way through and I will try to be uh, pretty much a background support and will try to cause some damage, especially module damage with my HE shells. So the things I want to see is setting them on fire, knocking out their guns, knocking out their um, controls. So I want to be an annoying little bastard, which is always fun to be. There is one. And look at that monstrosity. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Now, definitely, definitely have to stay in the background, because these guys can pretty much one-shot me, even if they don't hit with all of their shots. Now, their main guns can fire probably about twice every minute, so if we can manage to dodge those shots, then we should be safe. But as we are not so far, we can't really outrun them either, so just have to make sure that they focus fire on our battleships instead of us. What we also have to be careful of, we definitely have to avoid getting close to them. Because even if their main guns are reloading for 30, for 30 seconds or so, their secondary batteries, which are automatic guns on all the ships, will pretty much just take us apart in no time. So those were some good hits. And you see, this is not about doing the damage. That's what our tier 4 and 5 battleships will do. But, oh, there we go. He's on fire. Now he will quickly put it out, but that means he used his repairs. So any further damage that he receives, he can't repair until cooldown is down. There we go. Guns, main guns have been knocked out. So that's exactly what I will try to do. Just bombard them and hopefully take out modules, making it easier for our battleships to take these guys apart. And now we are behind cover. So always keep an eye on the map. Let's say they are concentrated in the middle. So we will go and sail all around these islands and take shots in between. Just have to be sure that we are not the closest ship. Which with this guy is tricky. There we go. Some modules knocked out once again. And uh, definitely I'm trying to get away from it as soon as possible. Again, another fire. It's great. He did put it out though. And there comes the secondary batteries, so... Have to get out. Luckily there is an island coming in between us. So that's good. Again, something. Some of the... Uh, some of his batteries have been knocked out. And now, get the hell away from him, we need to. Make sure that there is enough distance between us. We are way, way too close. Our options are limited, because we are nearing at the, the edge of the uh, map. But at least he's turning, he's engaging the other battleships, which is good. Excellent, now we can continue bombarding him with HE shells. Hopefully, causing some more fires. Now, the Chester is not the best ship to do this in. Because it has a rather limited percentage of a chance to set the enemy on fire. I think it's about 7%. And there are ships with a lot more than that. 12, 15, 16%. So, I can't expect to cause fires left, right and center. But I can expect that knocking out the guns and that's a big thing with these battleships 
again. Secondary battery is firing on me and he is getting a bit further away, which is excellent. Okay, so the, uh, there is a destroyer sneaked up to our cap. And as you will see, in the cooperative games, the bots on the enemy team, they are not stupid. I mean, wow, look at the damage we are taking from these secondary batteries. So, they pose a challenge, for sure, and that's awesome. I mean, of course they can be beaten, but it's not that it would be um, a stroll in the park. You have to be careful, <laughs> otherwise you will quite literally be taken apart by these bots. So, it's a good way to learn if you are trying out a new ship. Or a new class for that is. Because it will pose a good enough challenge. So, well done by Wargaming there. And there goes some more damage. You see, we barely do any damage, but we knocked out guns left, right and center. Allowing our, um, our battleships to do the damage without being shot back at them. At least they are being shot at by a bit lower number of guns. Alright, and keeping an eye on the map, it seems that the situation at our cap is under control. Yep, oh, that was a bit of a miss. Probably we can still lob some shells over this. Yeah, and yep, that was a hit. So we are already on 52 hits in this game, and while we won't do the most damage for sure, looking at the lineup, I think we are doing here what we can. Carefully keep our distance. Make them engage our battleships who can take the beating. We can't. I mean, look at the damage we already taken, and that was already. Secondary ships, uh, sorry, secondary armament. Okay, it's now out of cover, so there we go. Now, oh, excellent, guns knocked out once again. Mm. And there we go, once again. It's the best kind of bastard you can be, an annoying one. He is taking quite a beating. There we go. Enemy battleship took him out. And it's now 7 2, so it's pretty much over. We are capturing the enemy base as well. So, not a bad one, I have to admit. It was scary at first, but I think we made it work. Well, at least what a tier 2 cruiser can do in a tier 5 game. Alright, looking at the team score, well, <laughs> we won't really earn crazy amounts of experience, because for that we would have to score actually some damage. And we did see from the 65 hits, we did achieve only about 10,000 damage, and from 65 hits that's basically nothing. It's quite unfortunate that they don't give you um, experience points after destroyed modules as well. But... I think that was a Norwight run. So that was a quick look at the Chester, a really fun little ship that will leave you wanting even more. And by the way, you will exactly get what you want with the St. Louis at tier 3. But that's a story we will cover in one of our next videos. If you did like the video, please consider giving it a like or sharing it as it helps the channel a lot. Have a nice weekend guys, and I hope to see you again in one of the next videos.